this is like a nuclear bunker in this room. We've got the genetics of some of the rarest animals out there, stored cryogenically, frozen in time, basically, waiting to be thawed out in 10, 20, or maybe a thousand years time, and bring them, those cells, back to life within about 30 seconds. At minus 80 Celsius, lifting the lid on frozen animal species DNA, a lifeline, they say, to saving our rarest species from extinction. This is cryogenics, am I right? Exactly, that's what, that's what we do here. I mean, we call it cryoconservation. Many of our endangered species that are literally on the brink, they're on a cliff edge. Uh, so I believe we have to do something. Svalbard, northern Norway, where a frozen seed bank of the world's plants is slowly assembling. But the Shropshire operation is the only place in Europe where freezing of animal species, sperm, eggs, and crucially skin samples is happening at scale. They've just passed the 300 species mark and it is skin which unlocks the cryogenic future. I need you to make me, and I can't believe I'm saying this, four new wild cats. Yeah. How do you do it? With the skin, it's got the whole DNA of that particular animal. And when we freeze that down, we can freeze its entirety. And then when we bring it back, we can turn that skin cell eventually into a sperm or into an egg. The technology is there. Right now, a push to conserve red squirrels. For the first time in Europe, their cells have been successfully grown here. Growing brand new red squirrels remains just a few years off, but the lab has already produced new coral, an animal, not a plant. It's now being matured in a London museum for potential reintroduction to depleted wild reefs. The application of all this for wild species in the biosphere is obvious then, but there's also a domestic dimension to all this, the preservation of rare breeds, like Diamond here, a Suffolk punch. Universal agreement here and among the wider conservation movement that this can only ever, though, be a small part in the global fight against species extinction. In these tanks, in a way, we hope we don't have to dive into them because you're only diving into them if you have to, but I fear we will have to at some point. One day soon, we will be able to make a new snow leopard, white rhino, red squirrel, you name it, from a frozen vat in Shropshire. It's coming.